You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes. And we got ba a lot of bad genes in our country right now. It's really rich for Democratic leaders to say that Donald Trump is a unique threat to democracy when he peacefully gave over power, when he peacefully gave over power, peacefully gave over power, peacefully gave over power, peacefully gave over power. Hello, everyone. It's Queen V-Line. Back to you with another video. This video is about the recent controversy of Trump stating that we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. And as you can see, he's partially right. There are some bad genes in this country. And it's Donald Trump and J.D. Vance with their dangerous rhetoric which has impacted a community in Springfield, Ohio. J.D. Vance told multiple lies, including how his mom got addicted to drugs because of immigrants, only to find out that this lady was stealing from her patients. Make that make sense. Now there's this new lie of how there is a rise in crime. That is a lie. The FBI released their annual statements, which states that violent crime overall have decreased by 3%. This includes homicides have decreased to 11.6%. Assault has decreased to 9.4%. Aggravated assault have, has decreased to 2.8% and robbery to 0.3. Whereas property crime overall have decreased to 2.4%. This includes burglary, which has decreased to 7.6%. Larceny has decreased to 4.4%. 4% while car thefts have increased by 12.6%. In addition, it should be noted that hate crime incidents has decreased by 0.6%. That's 10,687 from 2022 to 10,627 last year so when donald trump the four time indicted twice impeached grifter loser 34 time count convict felon also convicted of saying someone states that we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now he's absolutely right because it's him and his party. It's because of him why our country is in chaos mode right now. Because of the misinformation, disinformation, aka lying, which is impacting our country right now. It's because of this liar, 34 time con convict. It's because of his genes why our country is in this constant revolving door of him losing back in 2020. Nobody else but him. And here's another development as it pertains to this quote unquote bad gene. It was reported that the DOJ indicted white supremacists on charges alleging trafficking, weapons violations, and COVID-19 and loan fraud. According to the U.S. attorney, 29 people named in the indictment were arrested in a series of raids involving the LAPD and other agencies. 13 other defendants were already in custody, prosecutors stated. Prosecutors stated that the gang 
has been allied with the Aaron Brotherhood and Mexican Mafia, and its members use Nazi tattoo graffiti to indicate their violent white supremacy extremist ideology. A total of 68 defendants are named in the 76 count indictment, which alleges offenses including conspiracy to violate the RICO Act, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, distribution of controlled substances, substances, bank fraud, conspiracy to commit bank fraud, aggravated identity theft, possession of a weapon, in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, and unlawful possession of a weapon and ammunition by a felon. The gang's violent white supremacy ideology and wide-ranging criminal activity pose a grave menace to our community. U.S. Attorney Martin Estrada stated in the indictment by allegedly engaging in everything from drug trafficking to weapon offenses to identity theft to COVID fraud and through their alliance with a neo-Nazi prison gang, a destructive force in prosecuting the members of the criminal organization, our office is carrying out its mission to protect the public from the most dangerous threat. The indictment also uh, alleges criminal activities dating back to at least December 2016, saying the gang used social media, including a members only Facebook group to share information and target people who violated the gang's rules. It alleges that to generate revenue for the gang, its members trafficked drugs, including fentanyl and heroin, to name a few. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with my commentary. Arrests of 42 members of the San Fernando Valley-based white supremacist street gang, the Peckerwoods. The indictment charges a total of 68 defendants with numerous federal crimes. And now with this news reporter, Sid Garcia is live at the LAPD's North Hollywood station with the details and video of some of the arrests made today. Sid. Guys, it was the LAPD, the FBI, the DEA, and other police agencies that took part in the takedown today. As you mentioned, dozens of members of this white supremacist gang were taken down, and according to the feds, they committed more than just hate crimes. Taking the guns out of the hands of gang members, taking drugs off our streets, increases the safety and reduces the harm that these activities pose to our communities. The LAPD, FBI, DEA, and other law enforcement agencies announced today that they've taken down dozens of members of the notorious white supremacist gang, the Peckerwoods. The gang is based out of the San Fernando Valley. 29 federal arrest warrants were served this morning. 68 members of the gang were indicted on charges ranging from gun violations to identity theft. It appears, however, that the business of hate was not enough for them. Their criminal activity took on different forms. Driven by greed, as alleged today, they engaged in drug distribution, multiple fraud schemes, 
and firearms offenses. 42 of the 68 gang members indicted are now in custody. The remaining 26 are fugitives. The Peckerwoods, according to federal law enforcement, have aligned themselves with the Aryan Brotherhood and Mexican Mafia prison gangs. What we wanted to do through this investigation was neutralize this threat as quickly as possible. So as I said, we're not going to wait around for a tragedy to occur. We're going to take action right away. And in order to do that, we use every tool in our federal toolbox to address that. And that's what we've done today. Again, 42 of the 68 indicted are in custody. They're still looking for the other 26. The sentences, if convicted on the charges, range from as low as 10 years to life in prison. Now, this orange troll is talking about bad genes when he's a 34-time convict, S.A., which incited an insurrection on our property. This monster and his cult followers caused severe damage on 1-6. This left a 1.5 million damage to our capital. In addition, approximately 140 officers were injured that day. And yes, we lost officers including Brian Sicknick and other officers in the days and months following 1-6 unfortunately took their lives. Their names are Gunther Hadiza, Howard Limbengood, Kyle DeFratag, and Jeffrey Smith. This monster and his bad genes are causing chaos within our democracy. Now you will watch this brief clip and I will be back with my final commentary. We fight like hell and if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Boss. Protesters are in the building. Thank you. They broke the glass. Everybody stay down. Get down. And this is what's happening right now. We need, the president needs to call it off. It's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. This monster is the bad genes that he is speaking of. His bad genes alongside his supporters and followers are the nightmare that our country is facing right now. America, the choice is very clear who is causing this quote-unquote bad genes in our country right now. We are less than 30 days from electing our next president of these United States, and this is not the time to turn off your engagement. This is the time to vote. Time is not on our side. So get ready to vote. It's either we're going with the prosecutor or the felon. And we're not going back. So let's get ready and get the job completed. I will leave in the comments and description below for organizations and hotlines as it pertains to mental health services in addition to hotlines and organizations 
as it pertains to voting. Early voting is starting right now. We can do this. And as always, elections have consequences. Elections matter. I thank you for watching. And as always, please be safe out here. And I will see you with the next video.